Hi everyone, this is a, a short video about uh, the working principle, respectively the working of a lab swift water activity meter uh, once uh, pet food samples are measured. What you need to measure those kind of samples is a sample cup, then you have here some sample, it's uh, some extruded and pressed um, pet food and you need uh, the lab swift our water activity meter um, measurement of this kind of samples are uh, quite simple uh, as the sample do not contain volatile compounds as uh, glycerin or alcohol so um, we can use uh, the instrument the lab swift without any kind of filters <coughs> sample preparation is not really required so you just need to open the sample cup you place uh, some samples into the sample cup, mm. so like this. Mm. So we have a we have a few samples in in there, and then you open the instrument. Quite simple. Place the sample cup into the instrument, close the unit, and press the start button. And then you have to wait. Um, until the instrument gives you an acoustic signal, so it's a beep, and then you know that the measurement has uh, been finished. So let's wait until the measurement um, comes to an end. It takes uh, a few minutes until you get a, a stable reading uh, as we detect the equilibrium, and this is required to get a good and uh, reproducible value. So let's wait and see.
So the measurement is still ongoing. What I want to show you is here on the right side of the screen you have uh, some triangles and uh, the more triangles you see the closer the measurement is to be finished. So there are in total five triangles and uh, we have already reached three out of the five so that means that we have to wait uh, just a little time now until the measurement uh, is finished. So here we are. Instrument uh, has finished the measurement. We can 
check the values. Well, we see 0 0.507 is the value for uh, uh, this kind of samples. Um, so that's it. I can just take the next one in the same way I have measured this one here, or I can check with one of our salt standards. So our salt standards are reusable. I can just take one of the standards, place it in the sample chamber and just do a verification as I did uh, the measurement. So it works um, the same way. The good thing is once I have finished, I can just remove and, and place it back into the container, the plastic container, and um, it's still ready um, to be used uh, and it's good for three to five years so uh, pretty simple pretty low cost of maintenance this is one of the uh, solutions uh, Novacina can offer for verification or uh, calibration so that's it that's uh, all uh, I have to say for the measurement of uh, pet food for this uh, extruded pet food uh, just be careful if you have uh, volatile compounds like uh, glycerin or alcohol then you need to protect the system with a filter your local distributor will tell you how to do and what kind of filter you will need uh, so have fun with the instrument thank you for your attention